Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's Star vs. The Forces of Evil, Season 2, Episode 21, Face the Music. Now, this is essentially a two-parter, but technically a one-parter because it's double-length, that's probably the word. One of those double-length episodes, like St. Olga's and Storm the Castle, so this should be very fun indeed. It's the penultimate episode before the finale, which is another one-part episode, so I have a feeling there might be a cliffhanger in this one. And face the music is uh, sort of what you use to describe... Uh, confronting a situation that you've been running away from or you know like s standing up and owning up to something or you know you like accept the consequences of something I can't help but feel like the um, relationship thing is gonna come to a head in this episode uh, because the next episode is called Star Crushed and for the longest time, I've had the creeping suspicion that she might get owned in a fight against Ludo slash Toffee with the improved uh, wand. Um, like, crushed, as in crushed in battle. Like, she's going to suffer an overwhelming loss and be totally dejected about it and have to pick herself up in Season 3. Um, but anything could happen and, you know, I, I have the utmost desire to see this season out now, so... We're going to face the music. I think these intros have been my shortest for a long while. That's how invested I am in this. Gonna get a little, gonna get a little wild. I ain't from round here. I'm from another dimension. Gonna get a little weird. Gonna have a good time. Sync. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That was pretty good. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We've got some literal music. Perfect Princess Moon, she's great in every way. Everything she says and does is absolutely right. Her hair is silky soft, <laughs> her favourite colour is pink. She flosses every day and she never needs to sleep. The perfect Princess Moon, she's nice in every way. Always in a sunny mood, even on the cloudy days. A sugar coated heart of gold. So who's putting on this play? <laughs> she plays with puppies and kisses, kitty cats eats her veggies and smells like lavender. Perfect Princess Moon. <laughs> She's a pretty perfect. Smile. Perfect Princess Moon will be our queen. Oh, just a bard. <laughs> Mom, worst song ever. Do I have to have one of those written about me? Yes, Star. <laughs> it's a tradition as old as the kingdom itself, and it's your. Why can't you just use the theme song? Future queen to the people of Muni. That song didn't say anything about the real you. You could plug any name into that song, and it wouldn't make a So that's difference. what Face the Music is about. Buttercup, sparkle, it's about sparkle. literal music. They all okay, to like fine. And smell like lavender? Wow. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Star. Preparations for your Song Day celebration are already underway. And the new official song drill of Muni is heading to Earth to write your song as we speak. It better be a rock ballad. Mm -hmm. And remember, Star, the people of Muni like their princess songs light and fluffy. Can you handle that? Hard rock time. Yes, Guitar solo time. Pyrotechnics time. It by avoiding this problem until it goes away. Break. <laughs> Moon, please, if I can't talk you out of going, at least take a bunch of our knights with you. Oh, pants. I told you, River, this has to stay low key, under the radar. Besides, I've been there before. It's perfectly safe. The forest of certain death is not safe. And lately, nothing on Muni is as safe as it used to be. Oh, my. I can handle myself. Keep your hair down, please. Hold down the castle until I return. Can't you just take one little night? At least call me when you get there. Oh, River's such a worried husband. <laughs> But Moon looks terrific. 
Like when she does uh -huh. herself up, it I makes her look so a lot older so. than she is. Greetings, Princess Star. I am Ruberiot. And may I just say, though we have much to do, how much of a pleasure it is to meet you. I'll Stop. Like you. I get it. So, <laughs> so this we need to plug you into an amp. I just want to get to know the real star. Oh, how rude of me. <laughs> I didn't even offer you anything. What can I get you? Water, juice, tea? <laughs> well, uh, if, you, if you have mint tea, that might be... As a matter of fact, we do. Marco is a member of the Tea of the Month Club, and I think we just got some super special <laughs> Why does that tea. not surprise me? Marco? Don't move. Tea of the Month Club? <laughs> I thought the joke would be that he really is a member of the Tea of the Month Club. Should be just a minute. He's pretty good. Nerd, nerd. Ooh, this tea is real good. Hey, Star. Hey, Cloudy. Hey. Let's get out of here. Hey, Jana Banana. Wanna go to the mall? Now, this is interesting. What is she even doing? It's still enjoying that gun. Easy girl, almost there. So this is the same... Oh no. I was going to say the same path Marco and Star went through, but no. What is it? Hello, Lord Brudo. Uh, oh, Ludo's dad. What do you want? I need to speak with you. It's very important. Uh, step back. Uh. Hmm. This is intriguing. <laughs> yeah, you look like a dad, all right. <laughs> you, you coming in or what? Uh, you're, you're blocking the door. I'll move. Jeez. <laughs> Definitely see the resemblance in your birdish face. My dear, we have company. You may want to get dressed. Okay, moon. To what do we owe the honor of this visit? I'm sorry to intrude. Please accept this bag of corn. 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 We're doing great, thanks. But perhaps we can find someone else who could use it. So, <sighs> what brings you here, Queen Moon? I'm here because your son took a very important book from my family. My son? Which, Which one? one? <laughs> yeah. Udo? Uh, no. Not Udo. Udo. Manudo? Uh, no. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go down the list. Dudo. Kudo. Mudo. Tudo. Just Ludo, say Ludo. Zudo. I have no Ludo. idea who that is. <clears throat> Not Dennis. No, no. Not it's, yet. <laughs> it's Ludo. <gasps> Ludo? Well, we don't say that name in this house anymore. Not since he and his goons took over our castle and changed the locks when we oh, were on vacation. Wow. Not that this place is lovely. He literally locked his family out. Where he is now? We don't. You know. He is a grave disappointment to us. Well, what do you expect? So we now I expect kids. them to reclaim. Was the well, it's destroyed. He never mind. even sit in our family portrait. We were <laughs> extra hard on him to toughen him up. And look what happened. What Nature did a better him? job. No. He was Instead, a wuss in season he one. destroyed our ancestral home and brought shame on the family name. There, there. We can't always control the path our children choose to take. You know that more than anyone. Thank you, Lord and Lady Avarius. If you hear from Ludo, please let me know. Where is Princess Star? Has she traveled far? I am <laughs> Poor Marco. Kid, but if I don't write this, I'll surely be... Hey! 
you're, you're back. back. You're still here. Well, goodbye. Please, Princess, I have a job to do, and I can't leave until it's done. And I won't stay until you're gone. But what about your Song Day celebration? I in just a day, the people of Muni will be expecting us to perform uh, the uh, traditional uh, 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 princess song. I don't want to hear it, Songstrel. If you don't leave right now, maybe I'll leave for good. Hey, Star! Before you leave us alone again for a very long <laughs> explanation, could you help me make some more popcorn in the kitchen? Kitchen. <laughs> Star, why Please, not just, just do, do it? Says. He's been singing at me for eight hours asking where you are. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't want anything to do with Ruberia and his stupid princess songs. My mom's was so stupid and so fake and so old fashioned. Why would that make yours stupid? It's okay, Star. Everyone knows you're anything but ordinary. Aw, thanks, Marco. Hugs. He's, uh, he's staring at us, isn't he? <laughs> yep. You guys are missing the best episode you of Pingu. Uh, if that even is your real name. You, me, my room. Talk time. The trees have eyes. And what do you want? I know you're there. Come on out. You know it's good for you. What do you want? You look like you're ready to start your own metal band. It's me, Dennis. You were just at my house. Why are you following me? Are you looking for my big brother because you want to help him? Help him what? He's not well. Do you know where he is? I can take you to him. Oh, uh, uh, what is this? We must go by wing, milady. Oh. Okay. All right, then, well, I thought he was following for malicious purposes. <gasps> And L Ludo's a bigger brother? He's over there. Unless... Yeah, he's a bigger brother? What? I thought with his size, he'd be the youngest. <laughs> what is that? It's the other half of the one, milady. What is it? We have to go. We have to go now. She knows how bad that is. Oh it's boy. It's quite an honor to be your official song stroll, your highness. I have some really exciting ideas that I can't wait to get your opinion Ruby, on. Ruby, just stop. So Please. I guess that's I why this here, is a full-length episode. Sorry, I can't help you. Princess Moon is learning more about awful. the current situation. Bright little puff pieces about perfect little princesses with perfect little lives. And that's not me. And songstrels like you are part of the problem. Your music just puts pressure on future princesses to be perfect. So you might as well take your stupid notebook and your stupid loot and go back to Muni because I have no interest in helping some stupid hack write a stupid princess. Take a song. breath. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Fine. But for what it's worth, I also think the songstrels before me were hacks. You didn't think I had an opinion. That maybe I had some integrity. I wanted to write a real song about a real princess with all her gifts and flaws. Don't hey, you should have just given him a chance. Future queen, but you won't even help me do my job. I might as well just take your mom's song and just plug your name in and be done with it. You know, like some kind of hack. Wait! Ah, oh, no, 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 Ruby! So, can you help him? I'll... I'll do what I can. Interesting. This implies a Ludo may be redeemed. Perfect princess star is great in every way. Perfect princess star is... Ah! It's so awful! <laughs> Stupid princess star, why do I even try? Face it, Ruberiot. You are a hack, like all the rest. You'll never amount to anything. Well, so you're like a totally tortured artist. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that is a lot of paper just to plug a name into a previously existing song. What do you want? You, uh, you forgot your stupid notebook. 
Berberia, do you really hate princess songs as much as I do? I do, princess. I, I thought I could change them. I, I know they can be better. I can do better, but the show is tomorrow, and I have nothing. If I go out there with your mom's old song, I'll be just as bad as all the others. Oh, this is bad. Why did I drop out of law school school? Goodbye, aspirations. <laughs> Hello, flipping corn burgers. Rebarry it. Nothing is that bad when you have a magic wand. I would love a magic wand. Silly tradition into something real. Please, please keep your hair like that. Oh. She's returning back to the days when she fought Toffee in that portrait. You're back. You're wearing that to start Song Day? <gasps> song Day. <laughs> yeah, in all the seriousness with Ludo, he forgot about that. Get your corn slaw here. We got corn dogs, kettle corn, bacon wrapped corn. Get your exclusive Star Butterfly merch here. <laughs> Hey, nice to see Hekapu again. <laughs> Favorite council member. <sighs> okay, we made it. Y you you got. Oh, you lost one of your curly badoos, dear. Hey, everyone. Ooh, oh, pretty. Hi. Hey, queen. Oh my gosh, I had the worst wardrobe malfunction. Do you know how hard it is to find a decent shoulder tassel in an Earth Mall? Oh, hey, you got a little thingy in your hair. A what? A little. Thingy thing. Oh, how'd that get there? Thank you, dear. <laughs> Star. Magic. I want to tell you something. I know it's not very princess-like to show up late, but did you see traffic on the Royal Mile? Please let me finish. I just want to say how how proud I am of you. <laughs> what? I know princess songs aren't exactly your cup of tea, and I know I can be hard on you sometimes. So it means a lot to me that you still went through with it. I don't Thanks, think the Mom. song will be all you're expecting, though. Just so you know, Ruby and me, we kind of changed some stuff. I mean, it's just not going to sound exactly like your princess song did. So, you know, don't freak out or anything. Thank you for telling me, Star. But I trust your judgment. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's hear we it. We really went off script. It's all good, but there might be, like... And now, Muni's Come on. court composer... The song shrill Ruberia. He's not got an amp though. In honor of the royal family. <laughs> not me, not me. I think I know you will, <laughs> but I really hope you do. Presents Star Butterfly's uh. Princess Song. Who is the maid with the buttercup hair? Who sleeps on moonbeams and dances on air With tears made of honey and a heart full of bunnies Whose infinite virtues are known near and far It's Muni's own sweetheart, our dear Princess Star This is pretty nice. And under the shimmer and rubies and pearls lies hidden a fierce and adventurous girl. The forces of evil that lurk in the night will cower in fear when this shooting star ignites. Here we go. This is really cool. I like it. Shooting star. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl! What a delightful little ditty. Good job, star. Okay. It's not over yet. Oh. I love the stage work. The 
And why did you think this was good to write? Surely you knew. Mom, what did you expect? I told you I couldn't do some puff piece. I had to do what felt right for me. Look, it's over now, so we just gotta move on. What? Royal secret, one last to tell. A princess under true love spell. <gasps> Wait, is that me? Uh, Ruberia never told me about this part. The boy in the earthly attire um. the of the princess's deepest desire I don't need to show it I think we all know it but just so this is what he I'll could tell again. star butterfly is in love with her best friend and his name is Marco Diaz oh no forever <laughs> This guy, he's very perceptive, I'll give him that. Even though, not really. Because people could tell, I guess. Hey, what's wrong? You're supposed to be clapping. What? The Queen lied to us! Well, technically, Pursue a solo career, dude. Like, there was nothing wrong with your performance. Well, that was all kinds of disastrous. Mom, I, I didn't realize this would happen. I thought they wanted to know the real Star Butterfly. They don't, Star. They just want to believe that you're a perfect little princess. And sometimes the truth is dangerous. With all due respect, Moon. Withholding information about Glossaric and the spellbook has put us all in danger. <laughs> that is kind of yeah. true. Like the goat said. <laughs> I assure you, I had every intention every of... Every intention of what? I had everything under control. How dare you hide something like that? I wasn't trying to hide anything. I think you should hide this from the magic high commission. Uh, so... Hold that thought, Marco. Star? Hey, Cloudy. Let's, uh, get out of here. Wow, you're really dodging that bullet. Like, we don't have to talk about what just happened. No, no. I, I'm going now. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh, that is expected. Like, obviously, Marco and Star aren't dumb. They, they, they know that the guy saying, like, that he was obviously saying the truth like even if it's his own uh, personal perspective like they know that the fact that it was sang I I'm sure Mark really it must be true then <laughs> that's why he's like nervously wanting to talk about that and I was like no no <laughs> put it off put it off put it off <laughs> so I, I don't know where she's going but I now have a much clearer idea on why the finale is called Star Crushed. Because, you know, the word crush. At least that's what I'm thinking, so... Uh, this was one of those episodes that has a little bit of a slow start, because you don't know where it's going. But then when you realise where it is going and it ramps up, I think that... The song number itself was the best part of the episode, and it was also nice to see the council again, however briefly, so I think this is one of those episodes where I prefer the second half to the first of it, um, which I suppose that counts for all of them, but this one felt like it had a little bit of a weaker first half than most, but the second half definitely more than made up for it, my goodness, and it's out of the bag. 
the fact that Marco, the fact that Star loves Marco is is out of the bag. Mar it's now on Marco's mind, whether he fully believes it or not. Like that thought is now in his mind finally. So <laughs> this is going to be an interesting, interesting finale, and quite possibly heartbreaking, depending on how it goes. Um, yeah, I am fast running out of time tonight, so if I want to have any hope of completing my goal, I need to hop into that finale right this second, so that is what I'm going to do. This was really fun, I love the dramatic twist at the end, and I can't wait for the finale, literally, so I shall see you guys next time.